Hello, uh, let's discuss a context question based on Nick Tynasiev. Uh, in the previous videos, we have discussed some context questions based on uh, uh, short stories, based on poetry, and uh, there's one context question that I have done uh, uh, related to Othello. So here, uh, this is related to Nick Tynasiev, one of your novels. Uh, so uh, there's there are some other related videos also related to nectar and this is uh, you all know actually you all know how to uh, write a context question now uh, the structure we I have even in these videos I have discussed the structure um, we used to uh, do an um, introduction then you have to anal analyze the given text and you have to uh, mention the or you have to analyze the theme related to the given text and you have to talk about the literary devices related to the given text but always remember you are like when you get a get an extract for the context questions you all are getting an extract from the novel or from the short story or drama or whatever so when you get an extract what you need to do is you have to you have to analyze that particular given text only that particular given extract only so uh, here uh, the first uh, context question that we are going to discuss uh, related to Nick Tynasiev it appears on page number nine on the original book uh, while the sun shines on you and the fields are green and beautiful uh, to the eye and your husband sees beauty in you uh, which no one has seen before and you have a good store of grain laid away for hard times a roof over you and sweet uh, stirring your in your body what more can a woman ask for so that extract uh, this particular extract you can do for a context question so as usual you have to uh, write your introduction these lines uh, are from, uh, these lines have been taken from uh, the novel Nick Tynasiev, uh, uh, the novel related to the rural life of India, the life of the persons in India. Uh, then uh, these uh, lines appear on the first chapter or if you can't remember exactly which chapter you can just mention these lines appear at the beginning of the novel or if you can't remember then no need to mention because uh, don't uh, write something you are not sure and show that you don't know the thing so always uh, always you have to show your confidence to the examiner that you know this uh, so uh, then uh, what uh, these uh, then uh, uh, these lines related to rukmani mm? uh, rukmani as the protagonist of the novel the lines are related to Rukmani's character then in your analysis when you are analyzing the given te text you can say like uh, it says uh, fields are green and beautiful so that suggests in the greenery uh, beauty and also on the other hand it suggests the fertility because uh, Rukmani just after her marriage as a child bride you can see uh, the fertility and that she is getting ready uh, she uh, she is uh, growing up and she is getting ready to give birth to a child because after the marriage the next step the pregnancy and Indian society they are expecting a, a son from every Indian woman after the marriage so then her greenery the greenery the beauty the environment beauty suggesting Rukmani's fertility and also her compassion her contentment or the happiness hmm? Uh, Rukmani's happiness as uh, in her new role as a wife uh, how she has taken the responsibilities as a wife uh, so you can say her happiness is apparent here and uh, also even though her husband is a poor husband or uh, she he is a tenant farmer uh, the good crops or the good field or the good harvest uh, Rukmani as a young woman she is full of joy compassion and happiness uh, as a uh, as a wife because uh, uh, mostly in Indian societies uh, they are expecting very limited things from uh, the society like we we all have uh, needs and uh, wants uh, so the needs are the basic needs wants are different like now when it comes to modern life the modern women have different uh, wants but uh, when it comes to Rukmani's uh, 
or the Indian women, they have very li limited, uh, actually they don't have wants most of the time, they mostly have needs, the basic needs. So that's what Rukmani says here, uh, uh, what uh, your husband sees beauty in you because that, that shows like uh, how she's growing up or how she's trying to understand her husband because their marriage happened as a proposed marriage, then she... Uh, she grows up to be or she is maturing herself, she, her understanding, her comprehensive nature, hmm? uh, how mature she is even though she is a child at heart. Now she has kept all her childhood desires or childhood memories aside and now she is going to take the responsibilities as a wife. So she is not, uh, she is not accusing the society or she is not going against the social uh, restrictions or anything she is accepting the things as it is and she is trying to find the happiness uh, in the things that uh, things that are given to her in the um, society so she has the basic uh, needs or the basic things like roof over your head and also like a store of grain so food and shelter the two basic needs so uh, her compromises as a, a wife and also uh, she is uh, she representative be as a typical uh, conventional agrarian woman she she is rep and also an orthodox you can use these words orthodox indian woman uh, so then uh, her happiness or her uh, uh, like uh, uh, her ha the happiness that she gained with the simple things in life and also how uh, how the Indian society has uh, marginalized, so how the Indian society has uh, restricted the women desires because the women uh, in Indian society, they have been framed. They, they are in a very limited or restricted uh, environment. They, they, are not they cannot go beyond that because they, they are in this frame, this particular frame. Now, for example, Rukmani, when she has full of grain and when she has a roof over her, it, that's enough like she she says like what else a woman can ask for because that question suggesting like uh, how this Indian society has limited or restricted the women desires they, they are not ready to go beyond there and also you can say the simple satisfaction Rukmani gain uh, through uh, her simple through the simple things in her life and when it comes to the themes, you can suggest the themes of poverty, love or transformation or the suffering, hunger and also um, um, f being familiar like uh, like f familiarity of uh, uh, the how, how you become familiar with the life. Uh, so it's um, actually we cannot exactly say this is this this particular thing goes with this extract. You, you should be able to, as uh, the students, those who are doing literature, you should be able to find out different themes. Like when you read the extract, you can uh, suggest some more themes. Like this is this uh, extract related to the uh, life of uh, Indian women hmm? and uh, theme of uh, theme of the, about that, the life of Indian women. And... Uh, happiness of an Indian woman or then um, the uh, the extract makes a comment on the Indian society so you can find out different themes and also uh, these uh, when it comes to the techniques the same uh, there's a happy tone you know, the tone of happiness uh, and also the simplicity satisfaction very simple language and the question also suggesting uh, her satisfaction so the sense of satisfaction, um, then uh, the symbols uh, like the greenery, beauty and all symbolizing uh, Rukmani's fertility uh, as a young wife. Hmm? So uh, you can suggest the techniques like that. So introduction, analysis, then theme, you have to write, write the theme and explain how that particular theme is related to the novel. So theme and also you can uh, talk about the techniques. There, there are no much techniques. You can you don't have a lot of techniques here, literary devices here. But with the things that you have, you can just mention few lines. If you have a lot, you can write it in a separate paragraph or else you can incorporate into the uh, theme. Right. 
so these are the basic things uh, so you can make a context answer based on that